Question 10, and this one's on differential equations, although the challenge is recognising that it's differential equation. So it says a spherical mint of radius 5 millimetres. Okay, let's write that down. R equals 5. is placed in the mouth and sucked. Four minutes later, the radius of the mint is 3 millimetres. So that's telling us when T equals 4, the radius is 3. So actually, this initial bit of information must have been when T equals 0. So just making notes of that as we read the question. So it says, in a simple model, the rate of decrease of the radius of the mint is inversely proportional to the square of the radius. Okay, so that's telling us that dr by dt, the rate of decrease of the radius, is inversely proportional, so is equal to k over the square of the radius. So k over r squared. So using this model and all the information given, find an equation linking the radius of the mint and the time you should define any variables that you use. Okay, so t equals, this is part a, time in minutes from the moment the sweet is placed in the mouth. R equals the radius of the sweet in centimetres. Okay, so now, looking at this uh, differential equation here, we've got dr by dt equals k over r squared. So the first thing that we should do when solving a differential equation is separate out the two elements of, the dif of this differential, the dr and the dt, so that's times by dt, which means that dr equals k over r squared dt. And that tells us that the r's on the wrong side because the r's need to be on the same side as the dr and any t's need to be on the same side as the dt. So we multiply by r squared, we get r squared dr equals k dt. And now we're ready to integrate both sides. So that means the integral of r squared dr equals the integral of k dt. So adding 1 to the power on the left-hand side, we get a third r cubed and dividing by the new power equals kt plus c. So now we're ready to sub in the two points that we've got to try and find what the values of uh, k and c are. So first point was t equals 0, r equals 5. So let t equal 0 r equal 5 and that means that a third of 5 cubed equals c which means that c equals 125 over 3 so now t equals 4 and it told us t equals 4 and r equals 3 so I've just noticed a little mistake there as well I've said the radius of the suite in centimetres I should have put millimetres, so that's important. Units are important. Okay, so t equals 4, r equals 3. And notice how there I'm constantly checking back at my original, uh, my original writing, just cross-referencing it, so it's all about error checking as well. Now, normally I would have edited that mistake out and gone from the point that, um, and gone from the point where I made the mistake. However, I think it's important to leave that in there and just show you that I'm always checking. So t equals 4, r equals 3 which means that a third of 3 cubed equals kt, so k4, plus c, which was 125 over 3. So that means, and I will get the calculator out now, I don't want to be doing more difficult arithmetic like that in an exam, so a third of 3 cubed, suspect it's 9, but you can never be too careful when the exam pressure gets to you. It's important that you've got all the tools at your disposal and you're using them properly. So minus 98 over 3, that becomes minus 98 over 3 equals 4k, which means that k equals, so minus 98 over 3 divided by 4 equals minus 49 over 6. So k equals minus 49 
over 6. Therefore, we're ready to write the equation now. So we've got, um, so the equation was here, a third r cubed equals k, which is minus 49 over 6 t plus c, which is 125 over 3. Now let's see if it asked us to have it in any particular format. Find the equation linking the radius of the mint and the time. Well, I've done that. It hasn't asked it for any particular form. So I've eliminated the differential. I've got now it all in terms of the two variables. So that's that part done. So the next part of the question, I'll just paste it here to remind us what it was. It said, hence find the total time taken for the mint to completely dissolve, i.e. the time taken for it to have radius equal to zero. So this is part B, which means that I'm using the equation there, so a third of zero cubed equals minus 49 over 6 t plus 125 over 3. That means that 49 sixths t equals 125 over 3, which means that t equals... So we've got 125 over 3. And we're going to divide that by 49 over 6 to get 250 over 49. So that's for the time in minutes and seconds to the nearest second. Okay, so you can see that it's 5.10204. So 5 minutes. Then take away the integer part to leave just the part minutes. We'll times that by 60 seconds to get it in seconds. So 5 minutes and 6 seconds. So part C, state limitation of the model. Well, it assumes that the sweep remains a sphere. And that, uh, for that matter, a perfect sphere which won't be the case, whereas this probably will not be the case. So if that's one that you found difficult, you should go to my questions by category on differential equations, have a look at some of the more introductory videos that I've done on differential equations, but make sure you subscribe. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.